niggas start lying, it's over with. But if niggas start getting corny, you're banned from donating. Only real confessions. When I was younger I had cut a hole in my mom's mannequin head that she used to practice hair on and I tried to f*** it. My grandma caught me and told my mom I cried and told her that my granny's dementia was flaring up. <laughs> Confession, four years ago there was a plot to shoot up my high school being made on Twitter. Whose dumb ass was in there with a Pepe the Frog holding a Glock? Me. They raided my calculus class and escorted me out in handcuffs. The host stopped talking to me. <laughs> you geek! When I was going on a flight as a little nigger, I kept asking my dad for my gun, which was a toy and we were kicked off the plane. <laughs> Safe to say I got my ass torn up in the bathroom. <laughs> Dumb ass kid. <laughs> I caught a dude getting his ass ate in Saturday school. <laughs> yeah. That's it, nigga. No explanation. That's it. That's what you're gonna leave us with? I'm a changed man, so I don't endorse this. But back when I used to be on my toxic slash manipulative sh I told my ex that I gave up on my dreams of making the NBA to be with her. Nigga. I was 5 apostrophe 6, 150 pound. <laughs> Confessions I had a bald head in middle school niggas would always clown me saying I looked like Michael Jordan and would grab the f*** out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> my homie was simping for this girl for a long time, we were all at her crib drinking and most that nigga got was a kiss. And I was bored a so once that nigga went to sleep. I f***ed her in the same room he was sleeping in. Oh my he still don't know till this day. Oh my god. That's so f***ed up nigga. Remember I fought this one nigga in the neighborhood, everything was all good till I decided to pick me up. I've never had a harder time breathing in my life. <laughs> Bro. I remember a nigga snuck slap boxed me at the end of school, bro. A nigga just, a big ass fat nigga, bro, just, just snuck me in and started slap boxing me, bro. I'm like, why the f did that nigga just sneak me? Oh, God. That nigga just snuck me, bro, for no reason. Confession, you'll ever rub your dick up against your bed instead of normal jerking? Used to do it all the time, low key feels great. Nah, carpet feels better. I'm just being honest, How bro. How did I change my username? I'm just being honest. I thought we was being honest. Why are niggas coming at me for being honest? Like, as a kid. Any primers? You know what I'm saying? Like, you just push up against the carpet, bro. Like, it's not a Seen a urinal in the restroom today with his hole. Out. Nigga turned around and looked at me, making eye contact. Then the nigga farted. <laughs> and bruh, what the f Okay, so I was spitting game at a girl in school in 8th grade. I go to lean against the door and some bum 6th grader open it and I fall through all the hoes started laughing. Long story short, I don't go there anymore. <laughs> So one time when I was in sophomore year and I needed to take a sh**, I walked into the bathroom and oh my god, some white bitch was getting the BBC treatment in the bathroom <laughs> two niggas were f***ing the sh** out of her. NGL wish I had joined them now. <laughs> Confession I ate two girls out on, that sh** was amazing. I'm pretty sure I got my roots from playing house with my fire girl cousin. Anyways, it explains why my skinny ass has a beard now. <laughs> nigga said anyways, you just don't anyways that nigga. You're f***ing sick. Okay, so in sixth grade I used to hang out with some hood niggas. I was sagging my pants and had tidy whiteies on to match my outfit. That same day a nigga came up and pantsed me during lunch. <laughs> Bro, when I tell you I got clowned the whole month, I ain't cr- <laughs> Y'all fucks hell. I lost. Who else humps they below thinking it's your crush? You're sick in the f head. This isn't a confession but whatever. I, in more, kindergarten we were sitting on the rug when this bitch in front of me had a bug crawling in her hair. Someone saw the bug and threw up on one of the kids. 
It started a throw up chain and I cannot escape from the memories of that day. Bro, niggas would come to school and just throw. It would. It would always be that one nigga that just threw up every day. Every day. Spliff one every day, day. I ain't gonna lie. My nose used Happy to bleed. My months. nose still bleed when I get too hot. That's not cocaine. <laughs> not cocaine. I wasn't a part of the plot, y'all. They had a thread, but were talking in code, so my dumb ass was just trying to make fun. Had me in a clear backpack and tracked the rest of high school. <laughs> My sister and I used to share a room. I caught her playing with herself with a vibrator in the morning. Long story short I blackmailed her into giving me half her paycheck for half a year until my mom found out I was blackmailing her and f***ed me up. <laughs> okay so in our zoom call during lockdown cause Australia is still in this lockdown BS. My friend pulled his pants down on camera and literally slapped his cock across the camera bro. Safe to say he was kicked out of the school. Love you Bruce. What the f Sick f <laughs> My junior year I went to Eblenz and got these shoes. Wore em to school the next day and thought I had some new heat. OMW to class I got stopped in the hallway by hella niggas clowning me for wearing true flights. Thought they was Jordan 11s. <laughs> Never Donations. <laughs> Donations. Okay confession time earlier today swear to god this white girls was getting her check speed in the school bathroom there was a video and everything whole time it Loki turned me on You is a you niggas is freaks bro like for real I was in a second grade in computer class and I had to sh so I do come to find there was no toilet paper I had <laughs> I to use my to tank top and I flushed it next day they told us the bathroom didn't work. <laughs> Nigga said I do come to find. I beat my dick in the nurse's office while she went to go do something I was horny. Bro I remember it was just like... I'm not even no, I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that, I'm not saying it. I just called myself, I'm not saying that, I'm not saying it. Yeah, I'm not saying it. A few moments later. It was like this hentai video that I found on YouTube in like 2008, 2009. Like, before I knew what porn was, that was like the first porn video I ever seen. It was some hentai shit. It was some crazy shit. Why all your stories was when y'all was young. It's on you. It was on YouTube, bro. Strike me down right now, bro. I got the HP laptop and I found that bitch every single time, bro. I don't know. I remember the title and everything. I don't remember it no more. It's probably done, though. It's probably like gone. If somebody can find it, send me it. I'll let you know if that's it. One time in high school, I had to change into my pay outfit in the locker room, and I forget to wear my drawers, so I just didn't wear my pay clothes, and they called my mom, and she beat my arrow. I was begging the coach not to call my mom, but she was a bit. Bro, I hate it when I used to beg teachers not to call my parents, and they just had that over my head. When I was 11, I was on a plane and had to sit next to this old man, but the whole trip I was so horny, so I said, it and oh my god i jerked off under a blanket to one of the bikini magazines they gave out and got caught halfway through you're f sick as a little went to the store with my mom and i tried to steal a toy by wrapping it up in my jacket my mom told me to unball my jacket and that hoe fell out bro she beat the <laughs> out of me in the parking lot and my dad pulled up and beat my too. Nah, niggas ain't no real bro, nigga. I'm going to the book fair and I'm stealing all the chocolate Senate calculators, nigga. Confession my senior year, I lost my virginity to my GF. I came in the bitch mouth a bit so crazy she tried to give me a pregnancy scare. My dumb ass bought a plan B for her. <laughs> the worst whooping I ever had in my life was when I lost four coats in one winter. <laughs> NY old ass dad tore my sh up I went to get my stuffed animal and pretended it was him I f***ed the teddy bear up. <laughs> I went to the bathroom in school to do some homework due that same period so I was looking for a stall so pushed a door open and seen an in the six kid class spanking his sh crazy I threw up and called the nasty bitch he transferred schools that same week. <laughs> Okay, another confession. I went camping with my ex and her family. We had our own tent and we did the deed. I lasted no more than 15 seconds. 
She laughed at me, dear Saj. Imagine going camping with your girl family. You gotta be white. That's some white shit. You gotta be white. You gotta either be you gotta either be like black and she's white or you white and she's black. When I was a little my friends would tell me about the thoughts they was f***ing on and I wanted to be like that so I used to hit em up but them bitch stay wanting a relationship with me like I don't know why hoes find me boyfriend material. <laughs> you don't know why the hoes just stop hoeing when they get to you. Me and my uncle got in a fight he punched my chest so hard I had to go to the air I don't f*** with that nigga no more. <laughs> On the first day of freshman year, I walked in the bathroom and seen two big ass niggas making out. Sh changed my life. <laughs> hey, that's far. Confession: During gym class, we were playing football, and I absolutely mossed the spec kid. And I thought I was clear for the touchdown. And I turn around, and the spec kid is run at me at Usain Bolt speed and screaming the hard R at me. He was white. <laughs> that ain't funny, but it's funny though. You'll ever rub your dick in between your thigh and your underwear that she feels so good, try it. What is this nigga talking about? Turned 21 this year and bought mad bottles for a kickback. Mm -hmm. Tell me why I invited my crush from my business class and she ended up with smeared makeup pissing in my bathtub. She was thick and the heart wants what the heart wants twin jam in Franklin. <laughs> Confession one time I was beating the out of my dick at my grandma house I was going crazy was on my ninth nut and my cousin walk in on me with nut all over my stomach my belly button was a tub of cum I'm not allowed at my grandma's anymore why do y'all do that bro get like a napkin or something bro niggas not no real beaters in middle school I seen a nigga get wedged so hard that his drawers came out nigga was wearing tighty whities with a streak down the middle <laughs> That nigga was me, bro. <laughs> nigga, nigga, you the nut nutritionist. <laughs> nigga, I'm trying, to, <laughs> I'm trying to help you niggas. Confession, I lost my V-card at 14 after school to the school thought no rubber and my friend hit her after me. Bitch gave me chlamydia then a month later lied about being assaulted by another kid at the school. Chat, wrap it up and don't f*** with white women. Ew, you had... You had the glow stick, motherfucker. Ew! Oh my god! You had the neon green dingling at 14 years old. Real niggas do not get STDs. Please do not say that with a cool emoji at the end of it. Funny confession. In middle shoe, the coach of the b-ball team hated me, so he put me on the b-team, and I kid you not, in the middle of the game, I was bringing the ball up the court, and a sped kid who was on the team ran onto the court and was trying to lock me. <laughs> nigga was trying to lock you up, bro. Get that shit up, nigga. Grade 11, my grandma gave me five bucks to buy food. I bought some popcorn chicken, and some MF was acting hard and knocked the chicken out of my hands, so I beat his ass. In the middle of the cafeteria before I knew it, everyone was putting me on Snapchat. Everybody had everybody had doo-doo streaks.